Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome you, all of you watching through live stream and pray that you are in good health. Our presider this morning is Archbishop Hunt, and our entrance hymn is Lord, We Hear Your Word with Gladness, number 444 in the Catholic Book of Worship. with your spirit. We come together to give God praise and to ask for his assistance in our needs that we may do so worthily. We pause to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people. Israel, give heed to the statutes and ordinances that I am teaching you to observe so that you may live to enter and occupy the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. See, just as the Lord my God has charged me, 
I now teach you statues and ordinances for you to observe in the land that you are about to enter and occupy. You must observe them diligently, for this will show your wisdom and discernment to the peoples, who, when they hear all these statutes, will say, surely this great nation is a wise and discerning people. For what other great nation has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is whenever we call to him? And what other great nation has statues and ordinances as just as this entire law that I am setting before you today? But take care and watch yourselves closely so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor to let them slip from your mind all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Our psalm this morning is number 147. Sing praises to the Lord, the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Sing praises to the Lord who the broken hearted sing praises to the Lord who heals the broken hearted how good it is to sing praises to our God for he is gracious and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. Sing praises to the Lord who heals the broken heart. the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gathers to all of them their names. Sing praises to the is the Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing praises to the Praise to you, Lord Jesus 
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went up the mountain, and he began to teach his disciples. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever te does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading today, we see Moses passing on the statutes and ordinances of the Lord to the Israelite people. And he says that if they follow them, it will show their wisdom and discernment. That these statutes and ordinances are wonderful gifts from God and that they remain true to them will be a sign of their greatness. It will be a sign that they are wise and that they are discerning. In the gospel today, Jesus says that he's come not to abolish the law and the prophets, but to fulfill them. And he goes on to warn that those who would break these laws and teach others to do so will be least in the kingdom of heaven, while those who obey them and teach them to others will be considered great. When I read that Jesus is saying that he has come to fulfill the law and the prophets, it made me think uh, of the distinction between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. That Jesus truly has come to take the law and to bring it to life. Uh, to give to us the spirit of that law that we may live it not with fear and um, a rigid sense of uh, following it, but rather in the spirit of that law, living it with love and with, a, with wisdom and discernment, uh, with a true sense that the law is a gift to us from God, that it teaches us the way to go. You know, when I was looking at the first reading and, and to Moses passing on the statutes and ordinances, I, I got thinking about what happened after Moses, how bit by bit the people let go of the law, uh, walked away from the law, ignored it. Uh, and I thought of how often that happens in cultures and in countries. Uh, when they start off, when they're new, they, they have rules and laws and, and people are close to, to those laws. They understand them and, and they live them with a sense of dignity and pride. And bit by bit, those things slide. Um, it seems to be the the way of the world that cultures bit by bit lose their moral foundation and bit by bit uh, lose their integrity and um, their, their will really in some ways uh, to, to, to carry on. I think it's a warning to us and, and when we look around us and look at our own society we can see signs of that slippage as well. Lent is a time that invites us to to recommit ourselves to the statutes and ordinances of the law. Um, it's a time for us to uh, hone up our wisdom and to sharpen our discernment, uh, to recognize again the goodness of what God gives us and how he invites us to live his law with integrity in spirit and in truth, to live the law with love and compassion 
and with the mercy that he shows to us. As we continue in our Mass where we celebrate the mercy and love of God, we ask the Lord, we thank the Lord for the gift of his statutes and ordinances, and we ask him to help us that, like Jesus, we may live those, those laws in spirit and in truth, that we might live them with a love and an integrity and understanding that teaches them to others by our example and allows us, as his people, to be uh, respected by others and prepares us to be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. God bless you. With confidence in God's goodness, let us offer to him our prayers of petition. We begin by praying for our Pope and for all our religious and civil leaders, that they may seek always to lead with discernment and wisdom and with openness to God's guidance. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We pray for ourselves and for all who have been given the gift of faith, that day by day we may seek to grow in that faith, faith and nourish the love and, and commandments that God has given to us. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, for all those who are struggling with any type of hurt or pain or oppression today, that in the midst of their difficulties, they may feel God's presence, his consolation, and his assistance. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have wandered away from the laws of the Lord, that they may recognize the error of what they have done and that they may be aware of God's great mercy and open themselves to that gift in their lives. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our, our, the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, he humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternity and eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. <clears throat> there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in God's goodness, we pray that his will be done in our lives using the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
our communion hymn is Dona Nobis Pacem 6.2 in Celebrate in Song. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you you always always shine shine in our our path path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping keeping your faith faith firm. firm. You, salvation salvation of your people, people, know what we need. need. We are sure you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Give to your people, O God, a resolve that is pleasing to you. For by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is Tree of Life, number 373 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Tree of life and awesome mystery, in your death we are reborn. Though you die in all of history, still you rise with every morn. Still you rise with every morn. Seed that dies to rise in glory, may we see ourselves in you if we lose 